This just in, this just in. Rapper Tory Lanez was sentenced to 10 years in prison for the 2020 shooting of Megan Thee Stallion. The sentence for the 31-year-old Canadian rapper whose legal name is Daystar Peterson was handed down Tuesday after several days. Thanks for being here. I appreciate everybody. Welcome to Masculinity Unlocked. I'm your host, A.V., a.k.a. Alpha Villains. Tory Lanez, man. How many times have we told you guys to stay away from combative women? It's not worth it, bro. And as time goes on in the media and everybody continues to give and arm women with an arsenal of delusion, fake power, etc., they're going to continue to be disrespectful. They're going to continue to get in your face and they're going to continue to think that they are on your level. Judge, Judge David Hereford had been expected to, to deliver Lane's sentence on Monday, but the proceedings turned into a marathon two-day session after the judge had attorneys for both sides argue such factor of his potential sentence and allowed seven witnesses, including Lane's father and the mother of his six-year-old son, to give statements on behalf of Lane's. Megan also issued a victim impact statement read by Deputy District Attorney Kathy T.A., stating she will never be the same. <clears throat> Let's roll the tape. So you see right here, we're firing a discharge arm. 10 years, bro. If Tory did it, we weren't there, right? If Tory did it, he deserves to get what he's getting. But there's been a lot of speculation. Needless to say, we can't say what transpired. But getting shot, if you've ever been shot, shot at, been in situations, scary situations, it could be very traumatic. Not everybody, because they know a rap song, came from the hood. Something to be happy and proud about that you've been shot at shot people etc and shit because at the end of the day there are consequences involved so now because Tory decided to get with a woman who he clearly was not compatible with Tory decided to do the, the Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston shit something went awry now he's facing 10 years and women are celebrating like I said if he did it he deserves what he's getting but if he didn't do it, what if she was lying? We got to be fair, right? This is very important in your selection process. It's so important, man. And we're talking about today the Alabama brawl situation. You got to make sure that you are very aware of the tension and the temperature that's going on outside. Men are afraid, unfortunately, of what a woman can do. Their wrath. Nothing burns like a woman scorn and all that shit. Not because we're physically afraid, but because we understand that the laws, the media, everything is in favor of you. And you, you know this. So you manipulate this and you tie our hands. So we're not able to protect ourselves. So any type of infraction that occurs, whether it was a lie or not, can ruin a man's livelihood. 
again, Jonathan Majors, everybody, all these guys that they claim were falsely accused are in a whirlwind of shit right now, man. So all this time you guys want are impressed with women on podcasts, the caliber of women that would do some shit like this. They're no different based on the one, the ratchet broads that you guys want to see. You have to take it that into consideration when you decide to affiliate yourself with people. People are on edge, bro. People are broke. People are losing jobs. Men are not getting laid. Women are getting laid, but they're unhappy. We're in a recession. Everybody's got two or three jobs. Social media is driving us crazy. There's a lot of shit going on outside. You look at the news. Whether you look at Instagram, Facebook, TMZ, the regular news, CNN, Fox, etc. The world is on fire right now. <clears throat> so everybody's got a choice but as a man you have a really big choice if you're not compatible or you don't find the caliber of woman that you're interested in or that you find that was is compatible with you you have to make better use of your time learning how to decrypt a text message learning how to what what size blazer you should wear the type of shoes and belt that would go with the gray suit etc all of those basic things as grown ass men, we have to start to take into consideration about the things that we're doing, bro. Feel me? Because at the end of the day, we keep picking the wrong people and they're not playing with us anymore, bro. They're not playing with us. This is very important. 